It's test drive time again. This is a 1972 Oldsmobile Cutlass with a 455 big block. AC works, compressor kicks on. You want to check out my walk around video. I go over all that stuff. I've seen it's got electronic cutouts. There's a switch on the inside. I didn't know what it was when I first started this test drive video, but let's see if I can get the hood pins to lock right. There we go. But I guess what? It's time for a test drive. Let's take her down the road. All right, guys, getting ready to go down the road in a 1972 Oldsmobile Cutlass. I'm gonna try to point out any kind of flaws I can find. Let's see what kind of switches we got going on here. I'm not sure what that does. I guess it's just an empty switch right now. Um, this car's pretty built, 455. Sounds pretty good. It's got a cam in it. Good sound and exhaust. Oil pressure's coming up. It's right around 45, 50 fluctuating. Uh, engine temp still cold right now. Alternator gauge is working. The bolt's coming up to 14. Our tack's working on the dash here. I believe our gas gauge works, but I'm gonna have to stop because it's right at a quarter tank right now. Seats feel nice and comfy. Console looks cool. It says 442 Olds right there. Car's pretty clean on the interior. The horn's trying to honk. You hear that click? It's just not doing it. All right, we'll try our wipers real quick before we leave. Let's say the wiper switch is out or the motor's out on them because they do not work. Try our air. I see an AC compressor under the hood. It's pretty chilly outside right now. Have to double check on that. It feels cold, but I'm gonna pop the hood on my walk around video. I'm gonna check and make sure their compressor's working. If it's kicking on, odds are that we're gonna have some cold AC. So we'll take off down the road. Got a B&M shifter here. That's what I, my first car had, actually. <laughs> Any kind of flaws that I see with this car running and driving wise, I will let you know. Let all this traffic kind of flow by. I do have the face to the radio on the inside of the office. I do not believe there's any seat belts in this car. We'll have to order some. Whoever buys it, we don't really work on cars here. We just buy and sell. So. Oh yeah. Just get a little squirrely when we took off. Car's got a lot of power. Nice and smooth. Slightly pulling to the left. It could be the front tire pressure is a little low be just a hair out of the line. I mean, if I let go, we're just slightly pulling to the left. It's not bad. Steering's nice and tight. I don't feel any slack in that steering. The car's got a lot of power. Feels good. It's pulling me. Let's try to brakes out. The brakes stop good as well. I'm gonna stop at the gas station up here on the right. Check the gas gauge out. Woo! It's a fun car right here. It's got a lot of power. So if you're looking for something with some pull behind it, this is the one. Suspension feels nice and smooth. We were hitting some pretty good bumps back there. It's just kind of gliding over them nice and easy. I like this one. Got a good color, good sound. It's comfortable to drive too, so. Old pressure still sitting at 40. 
Our engine temps at 160 now. Let's put a little gas in it. The color really glows in the sun. I'm gonna throw about $20 of premium fuel in it and we'll keep rolling down the road. I'll let you know if that gas gauge works. All right, jumped off in the car here. We got our gas gauge on the left, so I'm gonna zoom in on it. I'm gonna turn the car on. I'm gonna watch it, see if it climbs. Look at it, there it goes. So what $20 worth of gas will get you. About three quarters of a tank. All right. Well, let's go. Riding around in the parking lot. I'm gonna check my gauges, let y'all see them. Uh, we still haven't quite reached 180 yet. Cruising for a little while, so. avoid all this water running out of here on the road so I don't get it too dirty It's got a lot of power. It's a lot of fun to drive. Speedometer's working, showing 97,000 miles, which I can't stand behind. And it's only got the 100,000 mile speedo, so as soon as it hits 100, it'll be all zero again. 
course I'm sure this motor has been redone it's definitely running cool I'm gonna stop over here in the middle of this test drive. Go ahead and do an outside walk around of the car. Point out any kind of flaws that I can find. I love that pet. So not only do I do the uh, test drive videos, I do little walk arounds that way y'all know everything about the car when you get here i guess i'll start it up right here all right i just did my walk around video we're getting ready to take off here uh cool thing i found on the walk around video the ac does caught on the compressor started working it was unplugged another cool thing i found out check this out electronic cutouts makes it nice and loud then you turn the mufflers back on how about that all right that's what that switch does we're going to continue on the test drive car you can get out and play around and not have too many problems it's just got all that natural power there and really the only thing I've seen that wasn't working on this car was the windshield wipers back into the lot here well I hope you like our test drive videos I do videos like this every single day if you have any other questions you can give us a call 615-822-4444 I'll be happy to help you out like I said in the middle of the video I did a walk around just kind of describing everything I learn about the cars as I do these videos by the way I do it so it comes out naturally just when I see it I call it and try to give you an honest description but you can check my website out maplemotors.com I got a hundred detailed pictures of this car and every car on the lot financing options available transportation options available and we update once a week with 10 new cars pretty much that's about the average. We get about 10 new cars every week. So, If you don't mind, please share my videos. It helps me out a lot. Get them out there. Gets new people drawn to the lot as well. well let's see here. Oh, I got pull up and drive. Pop it back to reverse. I should know I grew up with this shifter. It was on my first car.
Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.